So I think I've got a lot figured out now with my finances, how I'm going to keep myself going for a while. Today I spent most of my day picking up odd jobs off of Kijiji and everything, and I made a decent amount of money. I made $200 today, so I'm ecstatic with that. And this is just basic stuff I thought everybody knew how to do. Basic, like, handyman stuff. Fixing a leaky faucet, a dripping toilet connector, you know, the thing that comes out of the wall. Helping put a door frame on and, like, moving stuff out of one room to another or from out of the house into the trash, stuff like that, heavy stuff. Basic handyman stuff I figured everybody could do. And, yeah, I made, like, 200 bucks doing that. And it says more a lot about millennials because they were all millennials that were calling me that they just don't have the skills to survive like things that were pretty common in the past such as being able to fix your outlet fix a sink all on your own they just don't have that skills I'm a millennial but I have these skills and I figured if I'm having a hard time getting a job someone said a comma here is hey you might have a business opportunity there and I think he's right so I took what I earned today and I went thrift shopping and I bought myself an electric drill at the uh, thrift store and some other basic tools and a carpenter's jacket so now I've got a decent set of tools um, a full toolbox and some various supplies from the hardware store like your rubber gaskets uh, o-rings whatnot some screws different sizes and nails and stuff you need to do basic repairs around the house and uh, vice grips you can do pretty much every project you'll ever think of with vice grips and a screwdriver. But yeah, I spent every penny I made today on tools and supplies. And I did a little bit of research on, you know, Kijiji and basically what other handyman services are charging. And I'll, I'll tell you, they're very expensive. I see why now people post like this on Kijiji, just because hiring a handyman costs like $70 for the service fee plus the time he's there, so minimum $100 for a call. So I put my own Kijiji ad up for basic handyman services, you know, the stuff I've mentioned before, but at a very low flat fee. I'm charging 30 bucks, not a hundred dollars. That's why people won't call them hundred bucks is a lot of money, but 30 bucks is manageable. And that says that clear on that is a flat $30 fee, no matter the job, plus the cost of parts, but generally an O-ring costs like 25 cents and a screw costs like five. Now I've limited the ad for the area that I'm in within like 10 kilometers round so I can, you know, walk and get there by foot. Now that ad has only been up for two hours and I've already got four jobs scheduled for tomorrow. Basic stuff too. One is uh, fixing a power outlet that's really loose Again, I did that today, and that is so easy. I'll probably replace the whole thing. I'll pick one up on my way there. I've already texted the person that, and yeah, they're not expensive. The other is moving a washing machine from a basement to the top floor to get rid of it. Again, I'm a big guy, and I can do that no problem. And yeah, I've got a few scheduled for tomorrow, so I think tomorrow I'm guaranteed to make 120 bucks. And I have limited the Kijiji ad for this area, so it's something I can do by foot and with how I've priced myself I can see getting a lot a lot a lot of work even filming this I've just gotten two more text messages so hoping tomorrow's gonna be a really good day